Good afternoon, everybody. A disappointing result here at Vale Park, a 4-1 loss to Stevenage, and I'm joined by Port Vale manager John Askey. John, um, I suppose there's mixed emotions there for you this afternoon, but let's just focus on the game. A disappointing result and, and not the performance you would have wanted after that Exeter loss last week. No, I thought we started well enough um, and then got done on the on the break with the goal and then that, that knocked us. Uh, and then I thought first half we were, we were poor after that. Second half we came out, um, conceded again, uh, but we responded and that was a pleasing bit that you know we were able to respond and get a goal. And then it looked as though we were going to uh, get ourselves back in the game. Uh, but again, we got done on a counter-attack. Um, we didn't defend well enough today. Um, which is really disappointing. So, uh, um, but there were still things that we're we're doing better now than uh, than what we were. And pace was certainly a factor there for Stevenage, and really took advantage of what they had up front there, didn't they? Yeah, pace and strength, and obviously it's something that we uh, we need to look at because uh, you know we we can't leave ourselves as wide open as that, and we did. And the first one being off a corner, um, but. Uh, no, we've just got to make sure now that we don't just uh, peter out um, because uh, you know the club deserves better than that, and and the players, all, all, you know, they still got the pride to play for in the obviously uh, contracts. Mathematically, now we are safe in League Two, and we will be playing League Two football next season, which is a, a testament to yourself and the job that you've done since you've come in. But is it a slight double-edged sword that the fact that you would have wanted to do it your own way rather than having to rely on other results for that safety? Well, I think we have done it, our, you know, ourselves really, you know, to get 47 points, then uh, you usually stay up. So although we haven't done it today, um, the hard work that the players have done in the last few weeks, um, when they were playing under massive pressure, um, you know, they have done it themselves really. You know, teams are not going to keep winning at the bottom. So, uh, no, I'm really, ple I'm really pleased with the football club that uh, that secures us as a, as a league club next season. And then the hard work starts, obviously, in the summer for the club. A relief? Yeah, massive relief because there was times when I thought, you know, we, when I first came in, um, I just wondered, you know, would we be able to do it? Would the players be able to do it? Uh, and, uh, you know, I was shaking my head at times. But, yeah, to, to do it now is, uh, is a huge relief. With three games to spare as well, it, it must be nice not to have that worry of the closer you get to that final game, the, the worry to, you know, we've got to win this game to stay up. You've, you've got a bit of breathing space now. But knowing your character and, and Dave, Kevin, you're not going to let the players go on their holidays now. You're going to keep them upbeat and motivated to finish the season on a high. No, it's a huge relief to, to stay up. But we want to, me as a manager, I want to win every time we play. And it doesn't matter what, what game it is, whether there's something on it or not, I still want to win. And, uh, it, it, you know, tonight I still struggle to sleep because we've not win, won and we've lost 4-1. Um, we've got to be better than, than we were today um, and we were last week. Um, so we've, we've still got to work hard and, and we will do until till the end of the season because uh, we owe that to the supporters. Do you think Stevenage had a bit of extra motivation today, seeing how the Exeter result finished up earlier, losing at home 3-1 to Crawley, and they saw that potentially as an opportunity now to, you know, we win this today, we, we've got a real shot at the playoffs? They did, but, you know, I think we, we, we were undone ourselves, really, uh, with the poor defending. But we got them going, um, you know, and I thought, you know, we're going into the last sort of 10 minutes and you're thinking it's only a matter of time before one drops to somebody, and it did, and... You know, and the keeper made a good save and one or two missed chances. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't meant to be today, but we have got to do better. Terrific finish by Christian Montano as well. I know it's a consolation in the grand scheme of things, but for for a player with his characteristics to score a goal like that, that can be a really big boost to his confidence, can't it? I can, and uh, he was unlucky not to score just before that as well. Um, you know, I thought, you know, I know one or two would... We, you know, moaning at him and what have you, but we put him into the middle, and uh, I thought he was the most likely to score today, uh, and that was proven. Um, but uh, but no, that can only do Monty good, and he, he's you know in the last few weeks he's he's got quite a good return uh, of goals over probably the last three or four months. When you see a player score a goal like that after getting a bit of stick from the crowd, that must be pleasing to see that he's not letting the negative vibes around him affect him, that he's going to keep his head down and, and keep going on in the game. No, yeah, you say it's hard. It's hard. When, I know with Monty, it, it isn't through lack of trying. 
he always has a go for us and uh, you know he, and he can cause teams problems uh, it, sometimes he can be a little bit frustrating and he gets obviously frustrated with himself but no it's good to see him keep going keep working hard and that's what you need you know when you're not playing particularly well you, you're still doing the job for the team Four changes today and on the bench most notably you introduced Mike Calvary who was recalled back from Nuneaton midweek and Danny Elliott who both featured today perhaps didn't get to see as much as Calvary as we would have liked but Elliott seemed to have a, a, quite an effect on the game when he came on. Yeah I thought he did well when he came on, showed a lot of energy, uh, was brave when he got the ball and, and caused him one or two problems and uh, obviously it gives us an opportunity now to, uh, to have a look at one or two um, and uh, obviously we need to do that. What was the reason behind Mike Calvary? Just so you can see towards the end of the season how he how he copes in in league football and perhaps thinking of the future for next season with him. Yeah, we need to. Obviously, he's gone out on loan, and all reports that he's been doing well. And uh, you know, he's a big, big strong lad, and uh, um, he's a, he's the right sort of you know he's athletic, and is that's what you need in this league. So uh, you know, if, if we can have a, a better look at him, um, then we'll see see how he does, and uh, it's up to Mike then. And just finally, it's the only chance we're going to have to speak to you ahead of MK Dons on Monday. What what are you thinking ahead of that one now? It's got to be a quick turnaround. Is there a chance maybe to, to rotate the squad and experiment with what you've got? Or is it a case of MK Dons are a very good footballing team and if you experiment a little bit too much, they can really punish the side? Yeah, we've got to make sure. It, we'll prepare as we would prepare, uh, whether we'd stayed up or not. Um, you know, And the team will be a team that I think is the best team to, to try and win the game. But uh, no, it'll be tough. Uh, obviously, uh, they're looking for automatic playoff. Uh, but we've got to make sure we go there and, first of all, stop them from playing and then uh, try and spoil the party. <laughs>